Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is ABS Shodhran, and welcome to my channel. So, I thought, uh, why don't we discuss about something different? That means various dialysis modalities today. So, let's begin without wasting time. So, in this lecture, we will be covering the modalities like uh, conventional hemodialysis, online hemofiltration, online hemodiafiltration, expanded hemodialysis, acetate-free biofiltration, and sorbent dialysis. Our first modality is conventional hemodialysis. So I won't go much into the details because the topic is well familiar to all. So conventional hemodialysis is the most commonly used diffusion-based modality. Only dialysis fluid is required to facilitate diffusion during the therapy. In order to prepare the dialysis fluid, machine will be requiring RO water treatment system along with part A and part B concentrates. So low flux and high flux dialysates can be used for a conventional hemodialysis. Since the modality is diffusion based, it is effective in removing small molecular weight solutes such as urea, urea or creatinine, whatever. So usually performed two to three times in a week with a four hours duration per treatment. So our next modality is online hemofiltration or online HF. So online hemofiltration is a pure convection based technique. So convection is also known as solvent drag. So in convection, so we are removing large amounts of water from plasma water, your blood plasma. So along with the water flow, you will be able to remove certain medium to large sized molecules. And this process is known as convection. So for performing this hemofiltration, so you need a high flux dialyzer with a very high water permeability. So no dialysate is required because there is no diffusion. So in order to compensate the fluid loss, you should replace you should replace the fluid volume with a electrolyte solution and that electrolyte solution is known as substitution fluid or replacement fluid and here the procedure is known as online hf because the machine itself the dialysis machine itself can produce the sterile substitution fluid required for the treatment that's why it is known as online hemofiltration so in terms of clearance it can remove medium to large sized uremic solutes such as beta 2 microglobulin so you can apply this hemofiltration in two separate configurations one is known as the pre-dilution hemofiltration and another is known as the post-dilution hemofiltration so in pre-dilution hemofiltration so you are administering the substitution fluid just before the filter that's why it, that's why it is known as pre-dilution hemofiltration so on the other hand if you administer the substitution fluid after the filter it is known as the post-dilution hemofiltration now let's talk about online hemodiafiltration or online HDF. So online HDF is a combination of two solute transport mechanisms. One is the diffusion and another is convection. So HDF means diffusive transport plus convective transport. So just like online hemofiltration, here also you will be requiring a high flux hemodialyzer. And here both the solutions will be required. One is the dialysate and another is the substitution fluid. And here, the machine itself can produce sterile substitution fluid during treatment, and that's why it is known as online hemodiafiltration. So just like HF, hemodiafiltration can also offer superior higher molecular weight clearance as well as small molecular weight clearance, such as beta-2 microglobulin or urea, creatinine, etc. So because here, both the solute mechanisms, solute transport mechanisms are involved. So diffusion for the removal of small molecules, and convection for the removal of medium to large sized molecules. So in online hemodiafiltration, so there will be a superior clearance of both the solutes. One is the small molecules as well as the uh, medium sized molecules. So here online hemodiafiltration ca can be applied in three separate configuration, either as pre-dilution or as post-dilution or as mixed dilution. So in pre-dilution, you will be administering the substitution fluid just before the dialyzer. That's why it is known as the pre-dilution HDF. So in post-dilution HDF, you will be administering the substitution fluid after the dialyzer. That's why it is known as the post-dilution HDF. So in mixer dilution, you will be simultaneously administering the substitution fluid both as pre-dilution and as well as post-dilution. That's why it is known as the mixer dilution. Our next modality is expanded hemodialysis or HDX. So it's a very innovative hemodialysis technique. And for performing expanded hemodialysis, so you will be requiring a special filter, which is also known as medium cutoff filter with a very high molecular weight retention onset. So, 
and such an example for such a filter is the Theranova 400 by Baxter Incorporation. So you can see in the diagram here. So no special machine is required for expanded hemodialysis because HDX can be performed in a very normal dialysis machine such as 4008S or Dialog Plus, etc, etc. And these filters used for the expanded hemodialysis have a molecular weight cutoff of approximately 45 kilo Dalton or 45,000 Dalton with minimal or no protein loss at all. So by applying this expanded hemodialysis, there will be superior medium to large molecular weight uremic toxins clearance by simple diffusion. So no convection is required at all. So and the problem is it is not yet commercially introduced in the market and also we need further studies or robust clinical trials to prove the efficacy in maintenance hemodialysis patients. Our next dialysis modality is called acetate free biofiltration or AFP. So basically it is an improvised online hemodiafiltration modality in post dilution mode I would say. So for performing acetate free bio biofiltration an online HDF machine is required along with a AN69 membrane. So AN69 membrane is made up of a special polymer which is known as polyacrylonitrile which has superior endotoxin retention capacity by adsorption. So for performing this acetate free biofiltration an acetate free or buffer free dialysate solution is used. So during this treatment a continuous infusion of sodium bicarbonate solution with a concentration of approximately 145 millimol per liter is administered in the venous return line. So usually 8 to 10 liters of sodium bicarbonate solution is required per treatment. So in a nutshell acetate free biofiltration offers superb cardiovascular stability, increased albumin levels, better correction of metabolic acidosis along with a high clearance of small as well as middle molecules. So our last dialysis modality is sorbent dialysis. So although you might have heard about this term sorbent dialysis which is not a new invention in the field of dialysis but nowadays scientists are exploring this sorbent dialysis systems in order to build an energy efficient as well as economical dialysis delivery system. So unlike our current dialysis machines sorbent dialysis systems are not a single pass system. So in this modality we will be reusing the dialysate using a specially designed cartridge called sorbent cartridge. So for uh, sorbent dialysis only 6 liters of tap water is required for a session of up to uh, 4 to 6 hours. So like I said earlier uh, sorbent systems use a special sorbent cartridge for dialysis purification during treatment and since the system reuses the dialysate a RO system is not at all required. So machine so first machine purifies the tap water using a zirconium ureus and charcoal based cartridge to produce ultra pure water. So the next step is then a sterile electrolyte uh, buffer solution is added to this water to produce a dialysate required for uh, hemodialysis and after extracting the uremic waste materials from the dialyzer this spent dialysate is again filtered through this same sorbent cartridge to get, get rid of all these contaminants you know and uh, this cycle repeats over and over again and again. So sorbent dialysis systems can be high in efficiency in terms of water consumption. So I hope you enjoyed the lecture. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such videos. So thank you so much.